Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Premier League Fantasy Football and welcome to my video. So, I managed to get the afternoon off for Sunday, so I thought, you know what, why don't I post another video, even though I posted one yesterday, so please check that out. So, in today's video, I'm just going to do a quick overview on how I did in Game Week 2, then we quickly move ahead to Game Week 3 and look at the transfers. Now, just to let you guys know, I got two free transfers and I have already used one of them. Anyways, we'll get on to that in a second. So, as you can see, I've got 59 points. I actually got this extra point coming from James. So, I'll have 60 points. Uh, if we quickly go to live FPL, just to have a look at the final stuff. There we go. I've got 60 um, and I'm around 658,000. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm actually pretty damn happy. I've got three players left. I've got Salah yet to play, which will hurt my rank. But I do have Diaz, who's a big differential, and Trent to kind of help out, help me out there. So, as you can see, um, made no transfers because I wanted to bank my transfers in game with two. That's what I did. So, Ramsdale and Gold with only one point. But Arsenal actually performed really well. I've got Trent and Diaz and Salah playing uh, tomorrow against Crystal Palace. Uh, Cancelo with 11 points. Um, as you can see, he got an assist and a clean sheet. So 11 points from him, two bonus points. Fantastic. James scored a goal. I watched the match and it was incredible. There was a manager fight as well. He had basically everything. It was really good to watch. Scored a goal, continuing to bring some points. The fixtures are still looking good for Chelsea. It's going to get that extra bonus point. Let me just make sure, though. I know that, um, what's it called? We saw it on Live FPL, but I just want to make sure because things could change. Oh, 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 I thought he had three, but it's not. He's going to get one. Okay, he's going to get one, guaranteed one there, which is good. Um, Bailey, one point. He only played 12 minutes. Although, you know, we all thought that he might start because of uh, Gerard's comments about him. Well, sat on the bench, didn't help us out, and I really need to get rid. Uh, I was planning anyway to get rid of him after game week four, and to be honest with you, with all the things that is happening, I would rather scrape the money off him to kind of use that money elsewhere. So Salah there, Neto again, had a chance, had this like an open goal chance that he could have scored, flopped it. We've got Martinelli, continue to do what we wanted him to do, continue to score, and he's got another price rise. So, as you can see, 6.2. Got Haaland there as my captain. I think a lot of people captained him. Uh, only assist in that 4 0 win against Bournemouth. These things can happen. And as you can see, Jesus with 19. He was possessed. He was a beast. Two, two goals from him, two assists. He could have got more. What a signing for Arsenal. He's just like he's so hungry to play. He's so hungry to, to win and to score. And, you know, he had a couple of chances against Crystal Palace. I saw that he was actually performing really well. That's why I didn't want to remove him. His fixtures are looking good. Especially like these three. Oh my God, we you've got to have at least three uh, Arsenal players. Um, Williams actually got a decent return. I think he's on the bonus points as well. Just need to double check on that. What's he got? Has he got only one? Yeah, one bonus point from him. So that's seven points. And to be honest with you, you know, if I felt that or if I knew that Bailey would have been on the bench, maybe I would have played Williams against uh, West Ham. Patterson there and um, Greenwood with zero. So not too bad. Now let's move on to game week three i have already made my move and i have read your comments there's 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 been a lot of comments on my last video and i thought i'll kind of address everything here i made my move now don't get me wrong the player that you're about to see it's basically is a squad player it's going to help my team so what i try to do is scrape up as much as money as possible kind of use that money elsewhere so I made one transfer. I removed Bailey and I bought in Da Silva. I got the price rise from him as well. So I bought him at uh, 4.5. Now, 
I know, as you can see, he only played 31 minutes. He played 61 minutes. He scored two goals already. He, he can't keep this up. He can't keep this up. I think he only had like two shots and both of them was a goal. He cannot keep this up. But for me, I just wanted a cheap midfielder. I could have go I could have went for Rodrigo. But I thought, you know what? If the Silva actually continues to play, these fixtures are actually not too bad. Against Fulham, I can see Brentford doing well. Against Everton, I can see him doing well. Oh, Brentford doing well. I'm not saying he's gonna start, he's gonna play. And to be honest with you, I actually won him on my bench because I want to change my formation to a 4-4-2 formation. That's pretty much it. It's too base. There's, there's a lot of positives, right? The positives are I scraped off 0.5 and I got a little bit of a price rise. And if he, if people buys him, then yeah, that's great value. It's like an investment, right? I'm not expecting this player to do well. I'm not even expecting him. I'm not, I don't even want to play him, to be honest with you. Um, and I got now... 1.5 million in the bank to make a transfer you know what i could actually play him and i don't really mind doing that you know he could be an option he could continue to play he could continue to return but the main thing that i want is just him to be on the bench so i do have a couple of like really cheap players to actually play so that is the reason not because he scored two goals and I need to go out there and bring him into my team just because he got he scored two goals out of nowhere. Oh my god. It's not that. It's the fact that I wanted to remove Bailey because I wasn't sure about his price drop. I just wanted to get rid. I didn't want him anyway. I thought I'll give it a go. And it didn't plan out well. So and you know, I was thinking to get rid of him around game week four anyway. Um and, you know, if the silver gets another price rise, then that's perfect. You know, he's going to be on my bench and I could play him. We'll see. So, so this is how the team's looking like. But I just want to quickly show you where I'm at. I've got 1.5 million in the bank, okay? I've got one transfer left. And, you know, I had two tra transfers, right? I thought, you know what? Let me just do an early transfer. Get that price rise as well. And, you know, if there was a price drop against Bailey, then that would hurt. And I don't, wanna, I don't want that to happen. And I want to try to, you know, keep this team value quite high or, or work on it. You know, if I see an opportunity, I'm going to try and, 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 and do that this season. Last season and the year before, I didn't really do that a lot. And, you know, towards the end of the season when I was wild card and I couldn't really get the, the players that I wanted, like... You know, I was always short of that 0 0.5 or, or, or 0 0.1 or whatever it was. So I want to play around with that. I want to see if I can get good value in the team as well. It's a long journey, but I want, I want to play around with it. And I think that's quite fun to do as well. So right now, this is how the team is looking like. Um, I've got 1.5. And you know what? I might not even... I might not even do that transfer. I might just keep that transfer and just roll that transfer on to next week just get more information however there's a couple of players that i wanted to talk to you guys about but before that let's have a quick look at the team so i got ramso in goal against bournemouth now i don't know if arsenal is going to be able to keep a clean sheet however it is against uh, bournemouth then it's fulham then it's aston villa this is great fixtures for them so i'm happy that I'm I'm owning Ramsdale. And I think Ramsdale has that ability to, to get those points. So Trent is playing tomorrow. And he is against Manchester United in game week three. I know this is early on. But it's good to kind of talk about it. Because things could change. And I might need to, you know, talk to you guys about it again. And there might be some injuries that I need to make the changes to. And a lot of people are thinking to captain Mo Salah against Manchester United in game week three because of how Manchester United is playing right now and they are playing so bad it's so bad um I got Cancelo great fixture and I think uh, Manchester City is going to do well here and keep a clean sheet James against Leeds never know I think he could definitely get a high score in this game Leeds could score but I think Chelsea right now, the way they're playing, I think they will be able to keep a clean sheet. Now, it's either, I have to make a decision of Williams uh, against Everton. 
that is a four million player that could do well. You know, Everton, they don't really have strikers. I don't know how they're going to be able to uh, score. So that is an issue there. There's an issue with Neto. I'm not sure I want to keep him anymore, but the fixtures here might be okay. But I think it's time for me to get rid, but I don't know when. Um, so that Tottenham game is going to be quite difficult. So if I do hear that he's on the bench, then I might need to make a transfer immediately. I've got Diaz. A little bit of a differential of mine. I know he's 19%, but still, he's, if he scores, it's going to help me out a lot. I'm not thinking to remove him right now. Um, same with Salah. Same with Martinelli. You know, against Bournemouth. Just needs to continue to score. Jesus and Haller. So there's a, a lot of players here, like Ramsdale, Trent, Cancelo, James. Diaz, Salah, Martinelli, Jesus, and Hala. I don't want to get rid. I, I, I don't want to get rid. It's just these very cheap players that needs to be sorted out. Um, and, and, and I'm happy to keep with the template. Keep on, you know, grinding away. And just maintain a rank. You know, maintain that 1 million. Maintain that 500k. And just, you know, have one or two players do well. Then you can push up, right? Or find that moment to push. Right now, when I look at the fixtures, yes, I guess I could go and get some Spurs players. You know, I could go and get Perisic, but I don't know if he's going to actually start or play. So that's the problem. Um, got Crystal Palace players against Aston Villa. I'm not sure who I would go for like with these teams. Everton strikers are not there. I don't know when they're going to be able to like score. I don't know if they're going to be able to keep a clean sheet. And with Nottingham Forest, yes, they've got some players, but I think you know, with one of them being Williams, is enough. Maybe Mitrovic or Tony could be the way to go, but I do have a Brentford player against Fulham. Leicester City against Southampton, I can't even call this. But this here, Arsenal versus Bournemouth, I can see Arsenal doing well. Leeds versus Chelsea, maybe it's time for me to invest in more Chelsea players. But who to go for? That's the question. Havers is a player that I have looked at, uh, Mason Mount, but they're not performing right now. They're not performing. Sterling as well, they're not. They're playing okay, but they're not going into that next level that, okay, we need to definitely get this player in. So I don't want to go there right now. And with West Ham versus Brighton, again, I don't know what's going to happen there. I guess Brighton could keep a clean sheet there. I would like to bring in Trippier. But right now against Manchester City, I don't want to. And Liverpool versus Manchester, I don't want any Manchester United players. And I've got the three Liverpool players. So, looking at this, it's just like those cheap players. Those cheap players. And that is pretty much it, really. So, let's just have a quick look at, uh, you know, my transfers and what I could do. So, if I remove one of my defenders and I go with that 4-5, four, 4-4-2 four, four, formation... I do have 5.5 uh, in the bank. So, if I find out, or if I feel that Perisic might start, he's now 5.4. So, if I feel like Perisic might start, I think against Wolves, this might be a good fixture for them. So, that's what I'm thinking. To maybe bring in Perisic, uh, you know, on, 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 a cheaper, on a cheaper price. Got Nottingham Forest next, and then West Ham, then it's Fulham. That's actually pretty damn good. And I could get a Chelsea ass, um, um, it Spurs asset. The other thing is, now that I've got the silver, you know, it's cheap. I could remove Neto and play the silver, and I got 7 million. But if I look at the 7 million, I'm not sure who I would go for right now. I guess I can go for Rodrigo, a player that I talked about in my previous video. But I could still get him with the money that I have. Actually, I can't. No, I can. You've got 7 million. I could still get him. So that's why when I was looking at the transfers, I was like, oh, you know, I actually got money in the bank. And let me just hold out for a little bit and just see what happens. Uh, I don't really want to go for um, Xhaka um, because I do have... Um, a lot of Arsenal players and I think there's other players to kind of look out for uh, Pascal could be a player to look for decent actually very very good fixtures for him so there's there's an option there just go for a big differential I could do that and go with that 3 5 
2 formation or maybe actually can I just have a quick look around here so okay maybe I could remove Greenwood let me see if there's any uh, 6 million strikers out there I don't think there is but let's just have a look so there's nothing shouting out right now you know we just need to see more and we just need to see yeah there's not much it's just these very cheap players but I think removing maybe Neto or Patterson even though he played well I don't think though um, everything's going to do well uh, you know they're just not performing really well as well so I could go with a four at the back so let me know in the comments below which maybe defend that I should go for. Trippier is a player that I really want, but it's against Manchester City. Then it's Wolves, then it's um, Liverpool. These are difficult fixtures. Then after that, it's really good. Um, but I could still bring him. He could still get something, right? He could still get something. I could maybe double up on the Chelsea um, defence there. Might be a good shout. They've got really good fixtures. Maybe I could go ahead and go and get Walker, you know, a player that I looked at and wanted and go for that um, free uh, Manchester City uh, players and two of their defence. There's quite a lot of like, good uh, defence to kind of go for that could get some returns. So that's my ideas right now. Uh, for midfielders and, and strikers, yeah, I can go for Mitrovic um, if I had the money. But for now, I think I'm just looking at the defensive option. Uh, just to make this team quite strong. It is a good team. I'm quite glad that I went with, you know, James, Cancelo and um, Trent um, and, and these players. Martellini has been a hero for me. I'm just going to hope that um, Lewis performs against Crystal Palace. So that is pretty much it, guys. Um, if, if Salah stays quiet, which I don't think he's going to do, uh, and Diaz does well, then, yeah, could be hitting to 500k mark. And yeah, looking good. Anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. I, I hope that this video has helped you. I hope that you have enjoyed this. Please give the video a like as it helps my channel out a lot. Hopefully, you guys can hit that like button. That will hit 150, maybe. We'll see. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. What kind of transfers you think to do? There's a lot of people got two free transfers. A lot of people are going to make some big changes. For me, it's all about those small um, price um, players that we just need to adjust and just going to hope for the best. Anyways, guys, um, or last thing, I when I look at this team, I don't think I need to wildcard. So, you know, a lot of people are going to be looking at that. So, you know what, when I, um, maybe on a Tuesday, I might look at the wildcard team and just to see how it will look like. But for, for me, I'm, I'm fine with it, you know. I know there's Kevin De Bruyne, it is a big, player a big differential um, and a lot of people might go for him but for me I like my structure uh, and I'm actually quite happy with what I've got and I just want to have a quick look if I've removed DS if I got 1.5 is 9 9.5 9.5 mm, okay it's not really gonna make it is it <laughs> anyways guys that's about it thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time see ya